right, this is a weekly reading for Libra. It's the artist reading for my countdown to my um, first video I ever posted, actually. Um, yeah, my anniversary date for posting my first video on my channel is December 17th. So I decided to do like a countdown of my favorite um, videos. Um, really it's just like a remake of my favorite videos but anyway it's a lot of fun and uh, you know I had nothing better to do and I didn't want to do the same things uh, twice so um, yeah so on the 17th I will be doing a um, gift prediction um, that was like my first video I ever posted so I'm gonna do another one of those so it's gonna be a lot of fun seeing all the videos that I like or I like doing or just like a redo without all the preparations and the edits and stuff um, yeah so I just figured I'd do that um, instead of thinking of what to do for December and do all that stuff and second-guess myself um, so anyway, let's start off with the first one for the artist spread for you, Libra. Um, and I might do this again for a weekly. I haven't done this since I actually started this one, so um, I might do it again. Everybody seems to like the artist ones. So your gifts are going to be the Two of Rods. Um, as an artist, it's like what makes you strong, what makes you unique as an artist. So the Two of Rods is um, like let's see, uh, collaborations, working with others, using other people's platforms, partners to share the workload with. So um, maybe you do well like with other people, other collaborations. Um, showing your own unique talents in like a group setting um, so maybe you collaborate really well um, so with the two of wands uh, yellow and orange creativity and action so there's that um, and then we have your struggles as an artist which is um, what prevents you from creating what blocks you we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is efficiency, hard work, responsibility, works hard, takes their time, has the patience of a saint, is persistent, can be relied upon. So um, that's going to be green and gold. So maybe you don't like have <laughs> the, like the eye for it or... You don't want to take too much detailed time on certain projects. Um, maybe you kind of get an idea and you just go with it and then you finish it and then that's it. Um, but yeah, maybe you want to do some detailed work once in a while. It would be a change of pace for you, but then like you can think about um, if you're doing a painting, like adding a little bit of detail to make it more... Like, oh my gosh, that leaf is coming off the page or something like that. It would be really neat. Or um, music, if you wanted to add some, you know, different um, rhymes, if you rap, or different lyrics that are kind of like a thinker um, for certain things. You might want to try um, to do that, but, you know, you don't have to. You can always doodle in your journal or write them down so that you have inspiration for your next song. Um, it's just something that would be more of like a resource than anything else, I think. And maybe you don't think that far ahead, maybe. And maybe you should just make your own resources in order to have them on hand in case like somebody wants to collaborate or something. So then you have something to bring to the table that other people can look at and see your work and kind of like a, a you know, a, um, a portfolio, if it were, you know, like a professional portfolio. Um, that would be really neat. Anyway, we have what you're comfortable with as an artist, um, what's easy for you to create and what emotions, um, are behind your pieces. We have the page of pentacles, um, 
We have ambition, desire, diligence, ability to grow, um, potential, uh, thriftiness. Um, we have potential or practicality, um, developing into something better. So, um, that's green and gold also. So it has health and money, um, intertwined with it. So you could be very good at like thinking off the top of your head of what you want to do and you, you have the desire to finish. You're not one that like, um, waits for a deadline or something. You want to make at least a couple pieces, a couple other things in your repertoire just in case. Um, something should go wrong with an original piece or a piece that, you know, um, is kind of a original, um, piece of work. Uh, not exactly a painting. I'm trying to think of another thing for music. But, yeah, um, you, you know what I mean. Like, you always want to have something on hand just in case, like, somebody's like, oh, let's hear your new song, and you're like, I don't really want to release it, but I have this other one, and, like, it's pretty cool. Um, like, like I said, it's just, you know, something to have on hand. Anyway, we have what you're uncomfortable with as an artist. Um, these are things that are usually out of your range, or like emotionally there's like is kind of like if I have to do it I'll do it but there's nothing really too much for it which is the eight of swords the eight of swords is imprisonment entrapment self-victimizing um you have something to convey you're successful in some way um you do not make any rash decisions so you're kind of um you're kind of more thoughtful with your work, I feel. Um, so, and you're you're not one to like bring personal um, scars into your work. You're like, I'm just gonna use blue, and I'm gonna use other abstract things. Um, but as far as like what you're creating, it's more of very thoughtful, very perceptive, very like ooh ah type of thing. Um, so then people will be like, oh, I never thought about doing it like that. That's amazing. Um, so, you know. I don't think, like, the imprisonment thing, like, works for you either, so. Um, so it's navy blue and light blue. So, it's intellect and sadness. You're more on the creative action type level. So, very different tone, very different mood, more inventive, more ambitious as a artist. So, we have your past, what you used to create, what emotions did you leave behind in that respect. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is good things on repeat, um, getting good results, lottery and gambling wins, um, destiny and fate being in your favor. So, um, when you started doing art, maybe it was just like, bam, 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 bam. Every time you made a piece, somebody wanted it, or somebody made a big deal about it, so it blew you really, like, far up, and it was just amazing. So you became popular from your artwork, or from, you know, just knowing people. Um, maybe in the industry, or maybe you just are really likable, and, you know, people just like your stuff. Um, so that's a blue-purple type thing, so if you're, you know, I think I listed all the colors down below, um, all the questions, so if you want to take a look at those and, like, make a really nice piece with it, then by all means. But yeah, blue and violet, that's really pretty neat. Um... And then we have the future, your future um, endeavors. What's in that? Um, what will you create in the future? What emotions will you invoke? Um, we have the page of cups in reverse. Um, so childish approach, emotional immaturity, fantasy, um, rose-tinted glasses, someone who gets their own way. So this could be... Um, 
kind of, uh, maybe it's part of your, um, maybe love life, I don't know. Um, because it is on love and intuition. So it's like a red-pink type thing. So maybe you have an object of your desires that you kind of make it into like kind of like a bubblegum type of approach. Kind of like pop music, kind of really upbeat if it's, if it's music. Um, or if it's like painting, it's probably going to be like, it's going to be really like, kind of sell out like I don't want to say like sell out sell out but you know what I mean um it's kind of like it's it's very generic um because you kind of don't want to like say too much because or like detail your painting too much because it would give away who it is and you don't want to embarrass this person if it's a person or you don't want to like draw attention to um certain people in your group so that they kind of like ambush this person or they kind of um you know have hate mail sent to them because they're like your object of affection and stuff like that you don't need that you don't want that so it's kind of going to be generic in order to you know like uh save the innocent if that makes sense um very cavalier if I must say um so we have the last one which is your muse um we have the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles is um apprenticeship um let's say passion high standards mastery of subject being an expert making money from your passions. Money from teaching authority in your niche. So, um, yeah. And it's green and gold. Um, where green and gold actually shows up in this is in your comfort zone and in your struggles. So there might be some entanglement with that. Maybe you're trying to grow as an artist. And, um, you went from the struggle to being comfortable with it. So you're kind of in that sticky kind of situation, um, of being comfortable with your muse. And, you know, maybe it was like a love-hate relationship, or maybe it was kind of like an estranged relationship for a while. And then you became good friends, and then now it's like, this person's my muse. I don't want to tell them, though, so, you know, it's kind of like that kind of thing. Um... But, yeah, it's pretty cool, I think. Um, so, green and gold, health, and money. So, um, like, your muse could be very much, um, really either well-known or something like that. I'm just trying to read into it because, like, maybe they're, like, a celebrity or maybe, like, you guys are kind of have, like, mutual friends in common. So, I'm trying to draw from that. But whatever the case, it's kind of like you're trying to save their identity and whatever. It's very cute. Um, so anyway, Libra, um, I'm going to leave you here with this. Um, all the colors are listed down below, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, um, yeah, December I didn't want to do anything that was too crazy. I just wanted to do something fun. Like, there's a few um, things that I'll be doing that... I personally liked, I like doing the artist weeklies. I haven't done them in a while because they take a lot of time uh, to do those. And, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the um, gift prediction one so that we can have a little bit of fun with that. It might not exactly be um, the exact gift that you're going to get, but I'm going to try to do two drawings. I'm going to roll the dice, and I'm going to draw a card. So we'll just add on every year, maybe, um, of what you might get for a Christmas gift or any other holiday that you might be celebrating. Um, so, yeah, you might get it from a friend, relative, somebody. Um, but, yeah, just a lot of fun. Um, so thank you, Libra, for watching, and I hope this was 
fun for you as it was for me. And it gave you some insight. Um, probably not too much insight. I think you already knew half of it. But um, I hope it does inspire you to like create art, maybe to go into some vulnerable places to express some art. Um, but nothing too crazy. I think you kind of have a grasp on what you like doing and what you're good at. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one, alright? Bye now.